Well, this is my new LS855E. The company lets me run. 2021 model. 28 inch grousers with extensions. Got my uh, tether hitch here. And this is my base, my anchor for tether assisting. 350 Cavalco with a summit package, one inch line. Steel road change. Well, that's how much tension's on my line. I'm backing up and unspooling my drum right now. Got a hand toggle right here. I can reel in and spool out with that toggle from my base. Right now I'm going to go back as far as I can. And I'm going to leave that row of trees for uh, corner blocks so I can go around the stump and uh, use that stump as like a block purchase with my line. So, just got a little bit left here to finish up this. This section right here is uh, only like a hundred feet to the line so I'm just cutting it and swinging it to the road the other stuff I was cutting it bunching it for our yoder straps right here that are tied to the car body and my bucket so it doesn't my bucket's planted on the ground and that line is putting all that force on the bucket to the ground this thing's pretty solid when it's sitting here to communicate back and forth from the base to the cutter. Yeah, you grease these every day. The top one, this one. They don't move fast, but you put some, some weight on them, so. Grease them every day. But those are my antennas up there. That big square ones for my my camera, and so I can watch my drum from my cutting machine. And that skinny one is for my pedals to communicate back and forth from the Tiger Cat to this thing. So, 
when I push my pedals to go up and forward, that winches me in. And when I push my pedals to go down the hill, it releases me. Pretty cool. A lot of people don't know what this traction assist is about. And I don't know. Thought I'd make a video on what I do and how this traction assist works and where the where our industry is going with technology. Pretty amazing. Hard to find cutters or rigging guys, so this is what our industry is leading to. Eh, video doesn't do justice, but it's 100% this little section. Just That's the boundary down there. It's hard to see the tags, but just handing it up here for the processor. Right there. Best buncher on the market. Can't beat them. This is the cab of the LS855E tire cap. Two foot pedals, joysticks, air ride seat, heating and air conditioning. Oh yeah. There's my monitor, all my gauges, RPMs, hydraulic temp, coolant temp, fuel, def gauge, and then those are your button pattern, all touch screen. Uh, you can change all the buttons how you want them. So each operator, if they have something different, you can save it. So, but we usually stick to like, just I run this machine for tethering pretty much just one operator, one machine. It's kind of a good way to keep it. And then this is my iPad for, uh, I can have, I can have my maps on here for Venza and to watch your drum for winch and that's my skylight camera. We can switch it over to backup camera, run it on the skylight nose. No skylight in the new Tiger Cats. It's nice. Kind of like it. And this is the Summit monitor. So right now, we're going to Tether Enabled. Give her some RPMs. is go saw on kind of hard to do with one hand okay so this thing you can manually winch in from here or pay out when you want to slack around a stump or something, throw your line around a stump. But most of the time she's in auto, so. Okay, I'm pushing forward on the pedals. It's turning, so she put a little more pressure on her. But other than that, when you're on the hill, pretty steep, good ground, you're maybe 10,000 pounds on the line. It's pretty good. So that's traction assist. You know, this thing's not gonna pull you up a rock knob. It might, but that's not what it's designed for. It's traction assist. It's just helping you get up the hill. A lot of people get it confused, but. It's kind of peaceful around here today, so I wonder why that is. Pretty slick setup. Know, but it is Pretty slick. It's amazing what technology has done for this industry. 
But yeah, no, we run a Summit here. We got two of these things, two of the bases from Summit. Um, I like the single line idea, one inch swedge, I think, power pack, I'd imagine. So could be wrong, but yeah, no, this is, this is what I do all day. Either bunch for a yoder or a yarder or cut and log it to the road. So I kind of explain the corner blocking. We have these high stumps. So like you can go around the corner cause obviously I can't have my base machine in a direct pole. So like my base machine would be where that tree link pile is. That'd be a direct pole. But the road being narrow and that wood pile being in the way, I run my base back there and then leave these high stumps and go straight off the stump for a direct pull. Um, you know, people ask, does it burn the line when you're rubbing against the stump like that? And the answer is no, because you're going so slow, it's not creating heat. Then another question is like, what about in the summertime? You know, like that line creating friction and heat is that fire danger they've done studies on it and it doesn't create heat because you're going so slow when you're burning around a tree so pretty cool you got to trust your stumps um i'm on top of a bank so my line is dug into the bank before it's dug into that stump and then you try to keep your line really low on that stump so it doesn't pull and just got to really pick your stumps, leave more than one if needed. And then, um, yeah, you just got to go with your gut instinct on these stumps. And I've only had maybe one stump pull out of the whole time. I pick my stumps pretty good and leave lots of them. But yeah, and then we do have a limit on our line that yellow one it's 44,000 that line's rated for way more than that but I think we cut her down to a third so I think it's 160 some 160,000 then we go to like 44 and uh, that's just to keep it safe and less stress on the line obviously but yeah that's that's not breaking that's not where it's gonna break is 44 it's 160 some thousand don't know the exact number, but we're good. Anyways, yeah, pretty cool. Our technology in the woods, not a, everyone thinks we're a bunch of dumb loggers, but we got some pretty good technology out here.